never contributed anything to be alive today saying the 11th month of this great year 2017 to God alone be the glory if you watch from the first service be hearing testimonies of divine protection divine preservation death averted accident averted now hear me you will never say evil again whatever power of the devil is assigned to take your life we command that that power that appointment be disappointed the testimonies we have had here today 12 in this second service alone is a point to the fact that God has not stopped working in our midst including miracle job after the mock appointment letter it turned to a miracle job the same week somebody receiving 24 hour miracles after last Sunday of 400,000 a lot <laughs> hear me there is nothing that is too hard for God to do the same God will give you a testimony to them now why not lift your hand magnify the Lord with thanksgiving exalt him the caller is the doer the call is not the doer Father, we thank you for your strange works in our midst. Preservation from accidents, aversion of death, termination of evil, miracle jobs, miracle promotions, financial supplies, land that was nowhere to be traced because the lawyer disappeared, being restored. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you glory. Father, we exalt you. Lord, we glorify your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. It is you that is worthy. You that is worthy. It is you that is worthy. Oh my dream It is thank you enough you have done all things well receive all the glory the testimonies that are not shared are more than the ones shared father we give you all the glory today again do your work your strange work bring to pass your heart your strange heart and let no one return empty handed in Jesus mighty name please clap your big 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 hands together Put it together for Jesus, for the doer. So you, Lord, be all the glory. You may please be seated. This is our prophetic entrance service to the month of November. God's word for all this month is praise triggers fulfillment of prophecy. In the first service today, we began a serious teaching that will run in all our Sunday services, engaging the wonders of praise. We saw part 1A. In the first service will be looking at part 1B in the second service. I encourage you to please get the teaching of the first service. Please get that, get for your friends also, and listen to it over and over again and see how 
you can generate wonders through praise. Engaging the wonders of praise, part one being. I did say in the first service that a wonder is something that makes you to shout wow. Anything that will make you to shout wow. An amazement. Something that is overwhelming. Something that makes you to be flabbergasted. Something that brings pleasant surprises. And praise is simply ascribing glory to God. Honor and adoration to God. Ascribing glory, honor, adoration to God. Praise is the duty of every living. Of all the living, we must praise Him. It's a debt we owe God. Say with me, praise is a debt we owe God. Yes, Psalm 150, verse 6 makes us understand this. It said, Let everything that had bread praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Any day you draw bread, any day you take in oxygen and take, bring out carbon dioxide, you owe God praise. You owe him praise. One day, um, that was a long time ago, some medical personnel came and started calculating how much um, oxygen one would need. And they came out with the idea that an average man will have over 37 million Heartbeats in a year, more than that. And each one, you know, every heartbeat goes with the breathing in and breathing out of oxygen. And they were to calculate that time, that was almost 20 years ago. They said, You're going to, if everyone should buy the oxygen required to be alive, to be about that time, 2.2 million naira. I don't know how many of us can buy that. Go to hospital today and ask them how much does it take to sustain oxygen. In the, many have died actually because they couldn't have the money to pay to, get, to have oxygen in the hospital. But this is what we are all breathing free of charge. Some are even wasting their own with snoring. <laughs> I will praise you, Lord. In every brand I write, I will praise you, Lord. This promise I made should return it here and start all over again. Even then, I will praise you. Every day you breathe in and breathe out, you owe God praise. Somebody say, I don't have car, I don't have land, I don't have clothes to wear, I don't have shoes to wear. That is immaterial. If you can breathe in and breathe out, you owe God praise. Hallelujah. Can somebody make a joyful noise to God this morning? <laughs> Please, any day you wake up, don't think about your job. Don't think about what to eat or to drink. Think God first. Think God first. Because until you are alive, you can't be doing other things. May God give us understanding. Praise is one of the weapons of our warfare. The Bible said the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. Prophecies can be fulfilled without warfare. He said this charge I I commit it unto this son Timothy. According to the prophecies that have gone ahead of you, that you may might test by them war a good warfare. First Timothy 1 18. So you war with prophecies to be fulfilled. And one of the weapons of our warfare is praise. So when you get involved in praise, you can actually activate the forces that will make prophecies to be fulfilled. God gave them a prophecy. God gave a Abraham a prophecy that his descendants will stay in Jerusalem in, um, in Egypt for 400 years. They stayed for 30 years. It still needed God to come down by his mighty hand to bring them out. And we saw in Deuteronomy 26 verse 8 that the Lord brought them out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Whatever God says with his mouth, he brings it to pass with his hand. 
And praise is one of the ways you make God to move his hand to do what he has promised you. And that's why I know as we praise God in this season, every promise of God, every balance of your, my case, is different um, deliveries of 2017 shall be made available in Jesus' name. Please know that we must keep engaging in the high praises of God to continue to see prophecies fulfilled. Anytime you want prophecy to be fulfilled, you must be strong giving glory to God. You must be strong giving glory to God. Abraham was told by God that he's going to have a son after him, Isaac. For 25 years he waited. But what made him strong? What kept him going? To see that that prophecy is fulfilled, it was the high praise of God. And the Bible said in Romans chapter 4, verse 18 to 21, that against hope, Abraham believed in hope. And verse 19, he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Thus, he was fully persuaded that what God has said, verse 21, that he is able to perform it. He was strong in faith, giving glory to God. He was strong in faith, giving glory to God. So, his giving glory to God actually formed the catalyst that brought the fulfillment of the prophecy. You are told in elementary chemistry that a catalyst fastens or quickens chemical reaction, but is not of itself involved in the reaction. Praise is a spiritual catalyst that quickens the fulfillment of prophecy. Whatever God has said concerning you this year, we come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, but pastor, it's only remaining two months now. Two months is too much. Let me tell you, neighbor, two months is too much. Say it loud. Two months too much for God. Say it two months too much for God. Uh, if you if you if hearing people here getting testimony under 24 hours, we'll have some today now. Within one week, people getting testimony. Yeah? Somebody that been looking for work, just write a mock appointment letter. He wrote it. Within the same week, he got the job. If God can do that in one week, two months is too much for him to change your story. If he created heaven and earth in six days, amen. Two, two, two months is too much. Two months is too much. And now hear me. The remaining two months of this year, what you will see happen will give you laughter indeed. What you are not able to achieve from January till now, within these two months, God will make it happen in your life. Somebody may be saying, God, how shall it be? Okay, watch. That you have been struggling since January till now to touch that thing, to enter that realm. God will make it possible before December 31st. Yeah. Somebody is here today, you're a tenant. By December 31st, you will come out from your own house. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing that is too hard for him to do. He said, I'm the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard? For me to do. The prophecy of this year will be fulfilled in your life. No devil will be able to cut your life short. In Jesus' name. Quickly, in this service, let's see what are the wonders embedded in praise towards the fulfillment of prophecy. We have seen some in the first service. I encourage you to please get that. And I'll be talking from the background that God inhabits the praises of his people. So anytime the praise of God is offered God manifest. Now, what are those wonders? Number one in this service, God's presence will level out all barriers in the way to our prophetic promised land. God's presence will level out all barriers on the way to our prophetic promised land. Notes. We said here in the first service, one of the ways you attract God's attention, God's presence, is by praise. Because God inhabits the praises of his people. When you generate such manifest presence of God by the praise of God, then things happen. Every barrier is leveled. Now hear this. Psalm 114, 1-7. When Israel left Egypt, the land of a strange language. Judah was a sanctuary. Judah, in Isaiah 49 verse 8, means praise. Judah was his sanctuary. Israel was his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. 
And Jordan was driven back. And he began to ask. He said, the mountains escape like rams, and the little hills like lambs. What a lady, O Jordan, that thou art driven back. And you mountain that escape like ram, 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 and little hills like lambs. Tremble thou at the presence of the God of Jacob. Verse 7. Tremble thou. It was the presence of God in their journey to their promised land. It was the presence of God with them that made Jordan to be driven back, that made mountains to scale like rams and little hills like lambs, that made you know, no doors to open to them. It was the presence of God. And how did they pray? How did they get the presence of God? It was because Judah was a sanctuary. Judah went first. Remember, after the death of Joshua in Judges chapter 1, they came to God. Now Joshua is there. Who will go before us? And God said, let Judah go first. Which means, let praise go before you. Why? If praise goes, I go with it because God inhabits the praises of his people. Let praise go before you. And because praise went before them, they got victory from place to place. So anytime you allow the praise of God to go before you, God appears. And when God appears, you see, the sea saw it. You can't use three million, you can't be looking at three million people in English language and you call it it. It wasn't the three million people that the sea saw. It was the presence of God with them. And that verse 7 makes us understand that better. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The hills came like ground. So God, when he appears in his manifest presence, will make every barrier on your way to your promised land to clear. So I don't know what has been blocking you access to your promised land of 2017. This remaining two months. As we praise God, they will clear. Yeah. And you will assess what belongs to you. Yeah. In Psalm 8 verse 2, the word of God says, Out of the mouth of birds and suckling, thou hast ordained strength because of thy enemies. That thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. To steal the enemy there means to quench, to stop, to bring to an end. If you don't understand that scripture very well, Jesus quoted that in Matthew chapter 21, verse 16. And what did Jesus say there? He said, Out of the mouth of babes and suckling, thou hast ordained strength. You are perfected praise. Jesus equated perfected praise to ordained strength. So when you offer praise to God, there's unusual strength to stop the enemy, to quench the enemy, to steal the enemy, to stop the enemy. So whatever is stopping you from assessing your heritage of 2017 prophecy, they shall be stopped. Proverbs 23 verse 18, remember the Bible says, surely there is an end and thy expectation shall not be cut off. So there's an end to every barrier. The barrier of sickness has an end. Every sickness ravaging your body, it is not part of God's prophetic agenda for you this year, that sickness will ravage your body. So I command that sickness to be ended. Every failure, your current failure, you try this, you try that, at the end of the day it's failure. Every end of the year, you end up the year yawning. That will not be your portion this year. The wickedness of the wicked in your life will come to an end. The stagnation in your life, in your business, in your career will come to an end. The frustration will come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Everything the enemy is using to tamper with your progress and advancement in your career, your job, I decree that it will be terminated in the name of Jesus. Do they hear the testimony of one brother here? I started sharing testimonies of, 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 of God's restoration here. I mean, very young person in the church. It's, it's not that, uh, that he has been here since 19 Elijah, but he believes. <laughs> Amen. The covenant of restoration here, God not only did his car, he was in an office, his car was stolen. He didn't know his car has reached over there. God still restored him right back. The job that he did, that he's supposed to be paid for, his boss played him and took the job to go and do. He hooked there until he called him <laughs> so to, to be a partaker. You will not labor in vain in Jesus' name. <laughs> His land that he used to borrow, at the end of the day, 
even with him still owing the lenders, they still return the land to him free of charge. God has not stopped changing stories of people. Now, that frustration in your life is ended. That thought of suicide is ended. That generational poverty is ended. That near success syndrome is ended. That household enemy is ended. That witchcraft, barrenness spirit that harassing you, I command it to be ended. Every barrier can be quenched when praise is at work. So that you are calling misfortune, you will not see it again. Hear me and hear me well. If this is the only thing you get from this service, this year is going to end well for you. I've been saying that since I came here. I don't know how many people understand it. This year will end so well for you. <laughs> you will not end this year looking for help. You will not end this year crying. You will not end this year mourning. You will not end this year looking for who will pity you. This year, 2017, will end well for you. Every prophecy God gave his servant concerning us from January that is remaining to be fulfilled in your life. As we praise him today, I see you assessing them. Number two, the shout of praise will bring down our walls of Jericho leading to the fulfillment of prophecies. The shout of praise will bring down our walls of Jericho. It's part of the one that's embedded in praise. How can a wall be coming down by the shout of praise? It's a mystery. The shout of praise will bring down our walls of Jericho leading to fulfillment of prophecy. Joshua chapter 6, 1 to 2 first and then we'll look at verse 20. Joshua chapter 6, 1 to 2. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thy hand Jericho and the king thereof. I like that. And the mighty men of valor. I have given you the land, I have given you the king, and I have given you the mighty men of valor. Which means they are finished. <laughs> Are you getting me now? God gave them the land. Not only the guy, he gave them the king, which means nobody will speak for them again. And he gave them the mighty men in case some people want to fight for the king. He said, I've already given you those ones. The mighty men in this land will help you. The kings, the who is who in this land will help you. This land will be yours in the name of Jesus. The land was certainly shut up. No one went in and no one came out. That is a siege. Say with me, siege. You know, you, you know some people are in such situation today. They cannot leave their head. They cannot do anything. They want to even receive or call for help. They will shout them down. But hear me. Every siege upon your life upon your finances, upon your head, upon your marriage, upon the work of your hand, that seed shall be ended. Look at verse 20. So the people shouted when the priest blew with the trumpet, and it came to pass. When the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city. Every man straight before him and they took the city. They did what? Anything God has reserved for you in this city, you will take it. Oh, somebody didn't hear me. Oh, oh, oh. May the gate of this city not be locked against you. <laughs> there is gate to every city. Ask Peter, the gate to a lady to the city open to them at their own accord. If the gate didn't open to you, you will just be blowing air, escorting others. May the gate that leads to this city open to you. May you take your portion in this city in the name of Jesus. That means whatever you are doing here will begin to make progress. And they took the city. We know the story. God commanded them to move around the, the, the walls 
For the first six days, they should move around and not make any noise. But on the seventh day, they should move seven times and then blow the trumpet. And when they blew the trumpet, the walls of Jericho sank. That fell down flat. It's not falling, no. If it's falling, they can't enter. Do you know? You think it's this kind of wall we have here? That's a wall that housed the house of Rahab. A wall that you can build a house on top. It's not a small wall. The house of Rahab was on top of the wall. That's a wall that chariots can run on. It's not a small wall. If you fell, the height of it will still be difficult for them to enter. But the wall sank. I believe God stretched forth his long legs from heaven and pushed it down. And they straightly entered. That was the obstacle standing between them and getting to their promised land. But hear me. As we praise God today, whatever obstacle is standing between you and the fulfillment of 2017 prophetic agenda shall be removed. Whatever you believe God for in 2017, that you have been crying in the secret and say, oh God, if this one can be fulfilled, I'll be okay. I see them being fulfilled in the name of Jesus. That is why when we are praising God today, don't pray gentleman praise. It was with a shout. It was, was, was what? A shout. It wasn't gentleman praise. It wasn't, they were not dancing like king. You know how some kings dance? They dance with the, the tail of a horse. That's not the kind of dance to dance here. Amen. It's just if one shall catch you dancing like this, they can carry you. You dance your dances. Dance what? Your dances. Now, I saw something, not they told me, 1997. We were in Radio Oba in Lagos. It was an all night, 25th to 26th of July. I will never forget that experience. And we were in a service. And Papa said, we should dance. It was an all night. We should dance our dances. And the woman, I was near the woman. I know I did not, this is not, it's not I read, it's, I saw. This woman was dancing like soldier, true, true. Even me too, I bothered. <laughs> she went dance, dance, dance. So they stand that the neighbor, a consigned neighbor said, Madam, you'll be soldier. The short of the story is this. This woman before now, her menstrual circle ceased. But in that service, the menstrual circle started. It started flowing again. She shared a testimony in that service that night. Or a sad testimony. And Papa said that she will come back with her babies. This woman ended up having twins from that encounter. She danced her dance you know, we bother a lot. You know, you put your, you bother a lot. Who is looking at me? Who is not looking at me? You know, in my place, they say it doesn't matter how many people you tell your problem. Your problem is your problem. Are you getting me now? Did you get that proverb? <laughs> so a time must come in your life that you face you and God and your issue without looking at anybody. Is somebody following me now? Have you ever had any issue before that you know this is between you and God? There's no, if God didn't intervene, then problem will start. If you carry that attitude and approach God, did you not receive help? Did you not receive help? That's the kind of attitude you use now. Face that wall of Jericho and stand before God. So that stagnation in your career can give way. Have you not been hearing people sharing their own, even today now, had testimony of somebody that was even demoted and now they promoted that. Jump. From salary of grade level 8, they were not paying the person salary of grade 5. Now, but this time, they lifted it up. Today, we had a sixth one in the first service also. Somebody that, I mean, got promoted. I remember two Sundays ago, he came to my office and he said, sir, in my place, they don't promote people again. I said, it's not possible. Eh? They said, governor, I put an embargo. I said, ah, the governor is not the one that brings promotion. I didn't see from my Bible that promotion comes from governor. Promotion comes from above. Is that also? Eh? It doesn't come from the east. It doesn't come from the north. It doesn't, come, it doesn't come from the south. But it comes from God. So, and it's God that leaves the poor out of the donkey. So, if God is seated and He has not changed, it's just same yesterday today. Go and get your promotion. I want to see your promotion letter. That same week, He came to tell me 
Even from the office, when they were typing, he said, sir, they are typing my promotion letter now. And he came back to show me. He came back to show me. Today I had a testimony here. Promoted. Somebody here will testimony. Your testimony will be that. You'll be promoted. So are you ready to dance today? Forget about yourself. Let us worship the Lord. Forget about yourself. Let us praise the Lord. He's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. I call him Kabi. Forget everything, my brother. Give God the praise that is due to him. When you do for God what he cannot do for himself, God will do for you what you cannot do for yourself. Rise on your feet. So despise the odds. Despite impossibilities, <laughs> Abraham despised the deadness of his womb. He never considers Sarah's womb that was also dead. He was strong in faith, giving glory to God. At the end of the day, did he have Isaac or not? Prophecies will be fulfilled in your life. Now, before we praise God today, I want to ask that everyone that is not born again, that you give your life to Jesus. Why? If you don't want to be overpowered in life, you need greater power. And there's no power that is as great as the power of God. And every other power is subject to his power. And this divine power can be deposited in you through salvation. John 1, 12. As many that received him, today gave him power to become the sons of God. The first deposit of divine power is from salvation. Somebody is here today, you want God to save you and empower you. In order not to be overpowered. Please put your hand on your chest. Pray this prayer of salvation with me. Somebody is also here. You gave your life to Jesus someday, but you are no more there. You are taking it away from him. Draw back to him, he will draw back to you. Return to him, he will return to you. Your closeness to God is damaged by you, not by God. He said, draw near to me, I will draw near to you. So somebody is returning today. Rededicate your life to him. Somebody is also struggling with certain evil habits and you want to be free. Why not turn to Jesus? You can't do it by your power. For by strength shall no man prevail. Come to Jesus today and he will break that chain in your life. Now, you are among this category of people I've mentioned. You want to pray this prayer of salvation with me? Put your hand on your chest. Pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. I believe in my heart. You are the only Son of God. You died and you resurrected on the third day. Today, from my heart and with my mouth, I confess you, Jesus, as my Lord and my Savior. Write my name now in the book of life. I am born again. I'm a child of God. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' mighty name. Please, you pray that prayer with me. Wave your hand to Jesus wherever you are. You pray that prayer with me. God bless you. Oh, there are sincere people here. God bless you. Oh, God bless you. Please come with your bag, your Bible, whatever you came to church with. Come with it right now. Even your own list of the things you want God to do for you, is, you know, the list of the things you want God to do for you in this month of November, please come to Jesus. Why I will make my life your dwelling place. I will make my life your dwelling place. I please come, come. Run to the front from wherever you are. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Somebody sit here, you know you need to take this time. He loves you the way you are. Come, 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 come. Oh, 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 oh,
and this ones, please join them before we pray. Now we're going to be praying. And this is our prayer. If you have the list of your desires for this month, please bring it out right now also. We will use it. Father, by the power of praise today, let every wall of Jericho blocking my case a different package of 2017 give way. Father, by the power of praise today, let every wall of Jericho block, blocking my case in different packages of 2017 in my life, in my career, my business, give way in the name of Jesus. Take your list, pray now, pray now, pray from the depth of your heart. Father, I have come to you this morning and I ask of you, as I praise you today, by the power of praise, by the wonders of praise, let every wall of Jericho blocking my case in different packages of 2017 give way. Let everything blocking my career, my destiny advancement, my business breakthrough, my financial breakthrough, my family peace, whatever the enemy is using to stand against me from realizing the fulfillment of prophecy of 2017 in my life. Let them give way. Let walls of Jericho go. Let the mountains scale like ground. Let the little hills like ground. Let every Jordan be driven back. Let every Jordan be parted here and there for me to assess my breakthrough. Labo seti egaba antazia braga. Lord, behold my desires for November. Let every desire be fulfilled. Let the walls of Jericho give way. Let my desire be fulfilled. Leo Bose Kenya Bala Teri Bala Tozo Koteble Lia Gazana Baragaba. Lord, let every wall of Jericho stand in between me and my the fulfillment of 2017 prophetic agenda. Be taken out. Please turn to my right. Good. Turn this way. Turn this way. Turn this way. Please turn to my right as I touch you. Go this way. God bless you. God bless you. Mabo Sitaba. I am not going the same way I came in. Lord, break the walls of Jericho. Let every wall of Jericho, whatever represents the wall of Jericho in my life, in my family, in my finances, in my career, in my marriage, in my relationship, give way. Let every marriage spare, barrenness of any kind, shame of any kind, give way. Father, fulfill my desires. Fulfill my desires. Fulfill my desires. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' glorious name. The choir will be leading us in hot, danceable, sweat removing, leg throwing, body shaking praise. Please, this outside is for dancing. Is it okay? We are not paying rent here. Landlord will not disturb us. Come and dance for God. Dance your dance yet. Hallelujah. I will lift up my voice. I will joyfully sing. Not for what you have done for me, but for who you are. You are the song that I sing. Melody in my heart. The reason I live, oh Lord, is to praise you, Lord. I will lift up my voice. I will lift up my voice. I will joyfully sing, sing, sing. Not for what you have done. But for who you are, you are the song that I sing. Melody in my heart, the reason I live. I will lift up my voice. I will joyfully sing. But for what you have done for me. For who you are, for who you are, oh. you are the one that I say. Melody in my heart, the reason I live, the reason I live, is to praise you, Lord. Be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready. 
Jehovah, we praise your name. Jehovah, Jehovah, we praise your name. Jehovah, Jehovah, we praise your name. Jehovah, we praise your name. Jehovah, the mighty God, we praise your name. Jehovah, Jehovah, we praise your name. Jehovah, Jehovah, we praise your name. Jehovah, Jehovah, we praise your name. We praise your name, Jehovah, Jehovah. We praise your name, Jehovah, Jehovah. We praise your name, Jehovah. We praise your name, Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. Go, 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 go
Disappointed. They thought you will never amount to anything. They thought your family will never amount to anything. Just like the testimony of that sister, no one has ever graduated in their family. But her case is different. She not only graduated, did her youth service. Hallelujah. What they thought is not possible in your life, in your family, God will make it possible. They thought 
that you will not see the end of 2017. You will see the end of 2017 and many, 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 many more years. Every abandoned project in your life, in your family, I command that project to begin to advance. The God that sent me to advance you, to restore you, to establish you, advance everything in your hand. You will never be found where you used to be. Last Sunday here, we are talking about 24 hour miracle. And one of us came back here the same day, 29th of October, from far away country, a credited account with 0.4 million. Because the walls of Jericho had given way. Because every mountain is coming like Ram, Jordan is driven by. Starting from today, starting from today, good news will not cease in your life, in your family, in the name of Jesus. Even where they told you before bad news, God will turn it to good news. What they meant for your heart, God will turn to your help. You shall live. Fulfill the counsel of God. Go and return with testimonies. Now, every list you have put before God in November, it shall be fulfilled. Please clean the sweat on your face with that list. You will never sweat over those issues. They are declared done. Every trial here will turn to a testimony. Every unwanted thing will never reappear again. In Jesus' mighty name. Now quickly, read out the testimonies. Praise the Lord. If they call your name, just wave your hand and other. Listen to this testimony. Idebeku Choma, God delivered her from ear and stomach pain. For how long? Since January 2017. Hallelujah. After Eleven dancing months. to the God. To God the be the glory. Lucky Abo, West Bend Hill. How long? How long, sir? Okay. How long, please? Okay. For a few months. To God be the glory. It's gone forever. Melekwe Augustina. Tears concerning son ended since 1999. So God be the Lord glory. Eighteen tears years come to an end after the praise. Hallelujah! Eighteen years of tears walked away. Mrs. Sandra Ndukwe Unduku Sandra. After dancing, after dancing and praising God, severe pain gone. For how long? How was it? Eh? Praising one God for week. Okay, one week. Praying God. Okay. Onyam Vito. Pain healed since 1994. Jesus is Lord. Healed of Those ankle due to accident. 23 years ankle pain gone. After praise, that is how whatever you brought here that is not of God, you will look for them and shall see them no more. Rise on your feet as we close it. Okay, there's somebody else. Please. Siri, okay. Okafo. Before coming for this service, I was having fever, and after the praise time, the fever disappeared. To God be the I glory. am now healed. Ceased. I have been suffering from this since April this year. Numbness. Gone since April. It's gone for Anita Ichinyanyi, severe menstrual pain ended in the course of praise now. Hallelujah. Everything God has done, we, you will not go for repeat match. It is gone forever. We had eight instant testimonies this second service, six in the first service. 
this is a pointer that whatever you cry to God for, whatever you came here with that is not of God, He will not return with you. Rise on your feet as we close right now. Appreciate Him. Give Him glory. Give Him praise. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We exalt you. We worship you in the name of Jesus. This week shall be a week of testimony galore for you. You will call for one, ten will answer to you. God will put your name in the heart of those that matter in your matter. Every issue of shame is turned to fame. Your name will ring bell in the heart of kings. Holy Ghost will represent you from now. That long awaited miracle job, visa, miracle admission in school, payment is released now. That which we'll be looking for that will make your joy to be full. I command it to be released to you. Go in peace. Return with testimonies. In Jesus' name.